Every man could use a big Johnson. Yeah, okay. Now this is uh, one more project that I got here to do. And I, I think this is from the 1950s, this uh, <coughs> Johnson bandsaw. It's, uh, look, look at the tag here. Let's see what the, you know. I'll have an easier time looking at the tag on the computer than uh, actually looking at it right now. And if you're not familiar with Johnson bandsaws, they really work good. They're 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 kind of uh, kind of crude in a way, but you can adjust them and get accurate cuts. They uh, they have slow speeds. You know they're not a a modern saw like a do all, but <clears throat> and they're not powerful. Um, you can cut a, a 10 inch piece of pipe in this thing and do a good job, but it's going to take a while. You have to use uh, uh, a variable tooth, uh, you know, on the finer side, like 14, 6, I don't know, uh, 14, 16 variable tooth. I think I have a box that says that on there. Um, the, the saw came from. Uh, the Umatilla Chemical Weapons Depot is in an auction, and it's got the it's got the tin covers still, in pretty good shape. These uh, the construction of these saws is unique. I think you know they've got this uh, internal um, welded together iron structure connected to these uh, cast pieces. Um, the rack here is just in excellent condition. <clears throat> nice back cover. Got the uh, got this cover. Oop, I hope I hold that okay for you. Uh, you see the construction of it. Now you change the speed. See this is turning. It, it works. It, it's okay. Uh, the hinge is good because they, they greased it, you know. I checked it, it's tight. This old motor, I think, is uh, uh, it's like a half horse Hoover, I think. I don't know, I can't see it, but I'll get the camera back there. And you know, amazing, there's the the lift cylinder, the hydraulic cylinder, and amazing, that works. Okay, get over here and we'll look at it. Oh, there we go. You see, I got it up, and here's the knob down here. And I'll turn the knob, and we can watch it slowly fall down. Come on, fall down faster. There we go. Yeah. It needs to kind of, you know, cycle a little bit. But these are fun band saws. And this is going to be great for my home shop. It's like I, I don't need, you know, more than that. It's got a homemade coolant tray. See if you can see that. And a tank down there that looks like it has holes in it. So uh, this is another project in itself. And I thought I'd show that to you. Kind of kind of a time capsule thing, I think, you know. Find one old like this in good shape. So I'll check back 